Using Epsom salt in gardening is not a new concept. This best kept secret has been around for many generations, but does it really work, and if so, how? Epsom salt helps improve flower blooming and enhances a plant's green color. It can even help plants grow bushier. Epsom salt is made up of hydrated magnesium sulfate, that's magnesium and sulfur, which is important to healthy plant growth. Magnesium allows plants to better take in valuable nutrients, like nitrogen and phosphorus. It also helps in the creation of chlorophyll, which is vital for photosynthesis. In addition, magnesium greatly improves a plant's ability to produce flowers and fruit. If the soil becomes depleted of magnesium, adding Epsom salt will help, and since it poses little danger of overuse like most commercial fertilizers, you can use it safely on nearly all your garden plants. It's fairly easy to use Epsom salts on plants. Simply substitute it for regular watering either once or twice a month. Keep in mind that there are a number of formulas out there, so go with whatever works for you. Before applying Epsom salt, however, it's a good idea to have your soil tested to determine whether it's deficient of magnesium. You should also be aware that many plants, like beans and leafy vegetables, will happily grow and produce in soils with low levels of magnesium. Plants like roses, tomatoes, and peppers, on the other hand require lots of magnesium and therefore, are more commonly watered with Epsom salt. When diluted with water, Epsom salt is easily taken up by plants, especially when applied as a foliar spray. Most plants can be misted with a solution of two tablespoons of Epsom salt per gallon of water once a month. For more frequent watering, every other week, cut this back to one tablespoon of Epsom salt. With roses, you can apply a foliar spray of one tablespoon per gallon of water for each foot of the shrub's height. Apply in spring as leaves appear and then again after flowering. For tomatoes and peppers, apply one tablespoon of Epsom salt granules around each transplant or spray one tablespoon, or 30 milliliters per gallon during transplanting and again following the first bloom and fruit set. Here are 10 reasons why you should be using it on your plants. 1. Epsom salts in the garden give seeds a better start. Magnesium boosts seed germination by strengthening cell walls and providing increased energy for growth. Sulfur is easily lost during the germination process, so apply a drench of 1 tablespoon of Epsom salts for every gallon of water to the soil after seeding. Alternatively, you can mix 1 tablespoon of Epsom salts into each hole before planting seeds. For grass seeds and wildflowers, sprinkle 1 cup Epsom salts per 100 square feet, blend into the soil, and water thoroughly. Reapply an Epsom salt drench to seedlings every month during the growing season. 2. Epsom salt benefits plants' nutrient absorption. Scientific tests indicate that magnesium sulfate can increase cell uptake of key minerals, including nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. In one recent study, Testers in five states gave pepper plants a standard drench of one tablespoon Epsom salts to one gallon of water, twice a month, and a majority of the treated plants showed thicker foliage and larger vegetables. 3. Epsom salt helps prevent root shock. Transplanted roots need tender care. To prevent root shock, which causes wilting and leaf discoloration, mix one tablespoon of Epsom salt for every one gallon of water and apply to the roots of newly repotted plants until saturated. Or try adding one to two teaspoons of dry salts directly to the hole before transplanting a bush or flowers. After tamping down the soil, water thoroughly. 4. Magnesium sulfate is a natural pest deterrent. Instead of using plain table salt to dehydrate and kill snails and slugs, Banish the pests with Epsom salts and you'll give roots and blooms a boost in the process. For general pest control, mix one cup of Epsom salts with five gallons of water and use a hose-in sprayer to apply to foliage. For slug and snail control, sprinkle dry Epsom salts in the garden around the base of plants. 5. A foliar spray containing Epsom salt boosts plants' vibrancy. Mineral deficiencies can interfere with photosynthesis, leaching green color from leaves and interfering with nutrient absorption. If more mature foliage is turning yellow and curling, this may indicate a magnesium deficiency. 
Try a foliar spray of one tablespoon of Epsom salts mixed with four cups of water for each foot of plant height. Magnesium absorbs well if applied directly to the leaves. Six is Epsom salt for tomatoes and other fruits and veggies is a big flavor booster. Every month during growing season, mix one tablespoon of Epsom salts to each gallon of water and apply liberally to the roots of fruit and nut trees, grape vines, and berry patches. Sweet peppers and tomatoes also benefit from adding some Epsom salt to the garden soil. Before planting seeds, add one to two tablespoons of Epsom salts to the soil of each hole. During the growing season, apply a foliar spray of two tablespoons of salts to each gallon of water. Apply to leaves once a month. 7. Magnesium sulfate promotes lush lawn growth. If your soil tests positive for magnesium deficiency, Epsom salts will help your lawn achieve maximum growth and lushness. The Epsom Salt Council recommends applying 3 pounds of salts for every 1,250 square feet of lawn with a spreader. Sprinkle the salts lightly, then water your lawn with a hose or sprinkler system. 8. Using Epsom salt for plants inside the home can improve their nutrient intake. Epsom salts are pH neutral and gentle on plants, including potted houseplants. To boost nutrient intake, mix 2 tablespoons of Epsom salts with 1 gallon of water and spray onto leaves, rather than onto the roots, for maximum absorption. Alternatively, add the salts directly to the soil, 1 teaspoon of salts for every foot of plant height. Try adding Epsom salts to your houseplants every month, monitoring subtle changes in leaf vibrancy and growth. 9. Remove tree stumps more easily by drying them out with Epsom salt first. Professional stump removal services can cost between $160 and $500 or so, depending on the size of the trunk. For a do-it-yourself means of removing a tree stump, you can enlist Epsom salts to kill the remains of a cut tree first. Bore holes all around the top of the stump with an electric half an inch drill bit. These holes should be about half the depth of the stump and spaced a few inches apart. Then, pour dry Epsom salts into the holes and slowly add water to moisten, but not saturate, the salts. Cover the stump with a tarp to repel rain and ensure the drying process. The salts will dehydrate the wood over several weeks, and as the wood dries out, you'll be able to chip away most of the stump with an axe and soon dig up and dispose of the root system. 10. Once you use Epsom salt for roses, you won't go back. The magnesium in Epsom salts benefit both new and established rose bushes, helping to supplement a slow-release rose fertilizer containing nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. Before planting a new rose bush, add one tablespoon of Epsom salts to the bottom of each hole. For established roses, Add one tablespoon of salts for every gallon of water and spray foliage when plants begin to leaf in spring and once again during flowering. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on 10 clever uses for baking soda in the garden. Thanks for watching and bye for now.